Welcome to 2022. Hope all of you had a good New Year celebrations with your loved ones and also have some resolutions in place for this year. On Foot Talk with Sharon, we are starting Jan with a lot of soups and salads. But then that doesn't stop us from a little bit of cheating. So the first recipe of this year is a cheese and pesto worlds. It is a very easy to make snack if you have some ready-made puff pastry available and that's what I'm using. So along with that, we need pesto. I'm using pesto in two different flavors, the regular basil pesto and a red pepper pesto. This too is available to buy. So you can either use a store-bought one or you can make it using a recipe I've already shared. So let's quickly check out how to make these cheese and pesto worlds. But before we do that, don't forget to click that subscribe button and do click that tiny bell icon to next to it and turn on all notifications too. For making these cheese and pesto worlds, we need puff pastry. So ensure your puff pastry is thawed and kept ready as per the package instructions. And rest of the process is just assembling this. But yes, at this stage, also preheat your oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 15 minutes. So that by the time you're done making this, the oven is ready and preheated for baking. So if your puff pastry sheets look a little broken, you can just press it together with your fingers and then you can start spreading the filling. So I have the basil pesto and the red pepper bell pesto here. So we're going to spread this in alternate layers here. So we'll spread one along the longer side and then the next one. Make sure you leave a little bit at the edge without any filling. So that will help you seal the roll at the end. And next, grate some mozzarella cheese on top of this. And now let's top it up with some chopped walnuts and almonds. And now starting from the long edge, start rolling it. Brush the roll with some milk and then sprinkle some kalonji seeds on top just for that added colour, texture and flavour. Now just cut it into slices and arrange it on your baking tray. You can brush some more milk on top and then if you need, sprinkle a little bit more of the kalonji seeds. This goes into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes till it's a nice golden brown colour. Mm -hmm. 
you can enjoy this cheese and pesto whirls as is or with any dip you can use a mayo based dip you can use ketchup or even go indian with some green chutney so hope you enjoy this